Hi Libra, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. That being said, of course, this is not a personal reading for you. This is a reading for the star sign, the sun sign of Libra, a general reading. Um, within this reading, you may or may not resonate. Um, if you resonate with this reading, that's awesome because that means the cards are speaking directly to you today through me. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too, right? It's okay. It just wasn't for you. I want to share something with y'all that I found uh, that was written by a lady named or a person named Stacy Martin, okay? There's going to be things that resonate with you that no one else will understand. When it settles in your bones like it's home, welcome it. You will believe in things that others will think is wrong. But figuring out who you are and what you have faith in is a personal journey. You mustn't allow anyone to tarnish or plant doubt in the things that bring peace to your spirit. If that's not true about resonation, I don't know what is. That is a beautiful, beautiful um, writing by, by that Stacy Martin person, whoever that is. I found it on the internet. So kudos to you, Stacy Martin. <laughs> um, and that's true. You know, some of this may resonate with you. Some of it may not. All of it may resonate with you. All of it may not resonate with you. Take what hits home and leave the rest on the table. It's important to know not only your sun sign, which today is Libra, because this is how you receive information from the world. But you need to know your moon sign because that's how you feel about your world. That's how you process all of your information. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you spit that information back out into the world. It's important to know for you so you can cross-watch your own readings. It's important to know for the people you're cross-watching for so you can cross-watch their other signs. And it will give you a more comprehensive and complex picture of the things that are going on in not only your life, but the life of the people that you're cross-watching for. It's a, a very good tool for communication. It's a great tool to understand how to interact with other people. If you know their sun sign, their moon sign, and their, their rising sign, you know how to communicate so they receive information. You know how they're going to process it on the inside, and you know how they're going to spit it back out to you. It's really important to know those three aspects of your natal chart. There's a link in the box below. You can download your chart, super easy and very informative. I wanna say thank you from the humblest depths of my soul. Thank you for all of the personal readings and the wonderful um, reception that I have on YouTube, right? Thank you so much. I'm so humbled that so many of you reach out to me to read for you on your, in your personal lives. I feel very, very honored that you trust me to read for your personal situations. That being said, if you'd like a personal reading just for you, just for your situation, 40 bucks will hook it up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Super easy to schedule. You choose your day and your time. 45 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with me. The cards will show out and we will do a personal reading just for you, just for your situation. Okay, let's get in to this reading. You start out this reading with the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> The Ace of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles to the Emperor to Strength to the King of Wands to the Prince of Wands. What this entire row right here tells me is that you are feeling very emotionally satisfied with whatever it is do whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now in regards to control, authority, and structure in your life. You feel very strong, you feel very successful, and you're very excited and exuberant about your future. However, in the second row right here, we have you feeling guarded. You, you have a struggle and you're feeling guarded about some kind of conflict in your personal life, right? In your, in your relationships, in your, in your mental, in your personal life. There's something that you feel very um, guarded about and, and there's some kind of infighting going on and I think it's internal I think it's inside you it might not be put it where it goes for you okay but I get the feeling that you struggle internally with conflict however this is going to end this this internal struggle that you have with conflict 
is, is going to end. This conflicted internal struggle is going to end because you're thinking about it. You're up in your head. You're thinking about it with the hangman. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about relationship, a relationship in your life. Um, it could be a love relationship. It could be a business relationship. It could be any kind of relationship, but you're struggling with it and you're conflicted about it and you're up in the head with the hangman, pausing, surrendering, letting go of what you thought was and embracing what you know is in regards to a relationship in your life. The moon card comes in and says that... Um, there's some confusion. There's some illusion going on. There's some confusion or some kind of illusion going on because with the seven of cups, it reiterates confusion. And the seven of cups is all about options and choices and direction that we're going to go in our life. The two of pentacles comes in and reiterates options, right? So there's something about juggling right here, right? So you have the struggle, you have the conflict, which is coming to an end because you're in your head, you're thinking about it. The hangman is short-lived, right? It's not like a long drawn out process. It's a short-lived process. This conflict, this internal struggle that you're having that is coming to an end is about a relationship in your life. A relationship where perhaps maybe you you're beginning to see clearly, I think. You're beginning to see clearly that you need to make a choice and stop juggling, okay? Juggling whatever. If you're juggling two people, if you don't have enough time for your relationship because you're juggling other things, whatever. But there's an imbalance in your relationships, okay? This relationship that you're contemplating in this hangman mode right here that, that you're beginning to maybe see clearly about. There's been an imbalance in your life based on the struggle and the conflict that is about to come to an end. The Eight of Cups says that you are going to walk away from the feelings of despair and disappointment, bereavement, sadness. You're, you're, you're going to walk away from those feelings and you're going to walk into the energy of the King of Pentacles, right? This is um, abundance, control, power, authority in your life, okay? This brings you to a sense of victory and success, right? Victory, success, self-confidence about the decision that you made while you were in the hangman mode to move out of feelings of despair and, and disharmony in your life, to walk away from, from the, the choices and the options in regards to this relationship and move towards something that's more steady, stable, and secure in your life. This is progress, forward, mo forward movement, and success, right? Self-confidence. This is what you come out of the hangman mode feeling like. This Queen of Pentacles, Libra, she has been in your readings for months now, this Queen of Pentacles right here. You're moving towards this Queen of Pentacles. This is the embodiment of, of home and hearth and the breadbasket of your security and your life. You see this person as a successful, independent energy that you are drawn to, that you are moving towards. Notice we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is this is a power couple right here. So you're moving towards this Queen of Pentacles because you see this Queen of Pentacles as the Ten of Cups, as everything that is good and right and fair and decent and honest about life, right? Love, harmony, marriage, relationships. Um, you see this as a person who can bring you emotional fulfillment and satisfaction in a relationship. 
The Nine of Cups comes in and says you see this Queen of Pentacles energy as a wish fulfilled, as comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life. The Seven of Pentacles tells me that you see this Queen of Pentacles as someone worth investing in. I also get the feeling from this card with the Seven of Pentacles that something started in the past that was never quite finished between you. I don't know why, but I do. Because the Seven of Pentacles is about being a little bit disappointed in what you've invested in, right? But you see this Queen of Pentacles as wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the Ten of Cups in your life. But yet with the Seven of Pentacles, you see it worth investing in. You see profit and reward from investing in this Queen of Pentacles. But yet there's a little tinge of, of disappointment that something was started that wasn't quite given the opportunity to come to fruition. Okay? we have down here is the two of pentacles this I'm sorry the two of wands this two of wands right here is about planning for your future it's about a crossroads right you're either gonna go to the left you're gonna go to the right you're trying to decide which path you're going to take right here how are you going to get to this Queen of Pentacles right here how are you going to incorporate this Queen of Pentacles into your future the Princess of Wands comes on top and says that you feel very exuberant and excited about your decision to move towards this Queen of Pentacles right here. You see this opportunity as a way to plan the foundation by which to build your life upon, right? This Four of Wands is um, the 11-11 the card, right? It's about um, soulmates. And it's about coming together and, and building a future together, right? It's about celebration, harmony, home, values alignment. It's about building your future. Makes you feel very, very excited, okay? Oh my gosh, the Ten of Swords, what's that? <laughs> the Ten of Swords says that there's going to be an absolute ending, an absolute unavoidable ending to a third party situation that has been quite a burden for you and you about to break loose and tell somebody about it the six of pentacles comes in and says you're about to break loose and tell somebody that you want to give and receive and share your life your prosperity everything about yourself with them because you see them as a golden opportunity. You see them as a foundation by which to build your future upon. We have a little side read right here. All of these came out at the same time and it is a storyline and it's, it's applicable. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. There's going to be swift change in your life. Swift change. Because while you were caught up in your head hard with the Nine of Swords, you made a decision. You made a decision to call a truce to the conflict that you've had with this person. You've decided to call a truce to the conflict surrounding a third party situation. And you are going to go forward with messages of feelings, of creative new beginnings, and, um, and, um, love, right? Interesting. What we have here at the end is interesting as well. This is, this was the final card in this reading, okay? But this is like a whole nother little story that reflects on this pain right here. This pain that you have that causes an internal conflict, right? What is this about? What is this, this internal conflict that you have right here? Well, <clears throat> we have the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, grief, rejection, and painful separation. Covered by the devil. 
which is a toxic, in this situation, in this reading, this card is about a toxic relationship. It's about some kind of restriction, some kind of attachment that you had or have to somebody. This relationship has been filled with betrayal, deception, shady behavior. But you're, you're, you're feeling, this card is also about breaking free from mental challenges. So what these three cards tell me right here is that you are or have been dealing with the pain. You have been, I do believe, trying to loose yourself from a toxic relationship which is what you're doing over here. This is the struggle and the internal conflict that is coming to an end with the death card, right? So you have you 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 have been trying to loose yourself from a toxic situation. The 9 of pentacles comes in with a spirit of gratitude, self-sufficiency and culmination. Gratitude, self-sufficiency and culmination. Because you've sat down with your high priestess, you've sat down with your high priestess, with your intuition, with your subconscious mind, and you have sorted all of this out within yourself, right? You talk to the high priestess about the heartbreak, the pain, the eight of cups, walking away, the struggle with the seven of wands, the conflict with the five of swords. You've, you, you've talked to your high priestess about it all and you've worked it all out. You've contemplated and reevaluated everything, the whole situation. Justice comes in and applies truth, cause and effect, fairness, and, and karmic law to the situation. Karmic justice, right? You are going to be justified. Because you've worked it out, because you've sat down with spirit, because you've called on resources bigger than you to help you get through this situation, right? What's the cause? The cause is, is you finally sitting down with your high priestess, finally sitting down with the universe and your intuition and, and coming to um, a conclusion about what needs to happen in your life. That's the cause. What's the effect? The effect is justice. The effect is a brand new, manifesting a brand new opportunity. The effect is the absolute passion and determination to have a brand new inspired beginning in your life with absolute mental clarity about what direction you're going to go in. This is the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. You are being, you are being gifted by the universe. The justice given to you by the universe for finally understanding how it is you need to go forward in this situation is three brand new beginnings in your life. Brand new beginnings. Brand new. Little seedlings sent from the heavens above because you have finally cleaned your soil. You've finally turned it over, you've tilled it, you've fertilized it, you've picked out all of the, the burrs and the pickers and the, um, the roots, right? And now you have good, clean soil by which to procure a new opportunity, by which to procure an inspired new beginning, by which to procure absolute and complete clarity about the situation. The world card comes in and says, because of this, there is a new beginning on the horizon for you. The world card is about completion, accomplishment, and integration. It's the completion of one life cycle and the beginning of a new life cycle. Life cycles are not gimmies. Life cycles are earned. 
right? The universe only allows us to begin a new life cycle when we've learned what we need to learn from the current life cycle. Now that you have learned what you need to do for yourself, for your life, for your happiness, for your future, justice comes in and says, now and only now are you worthy of a new beginning in your life. Now and only now are you worthy of the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Now, my friend, your new life can begin. Four of Pentacles comes in and says that, uh, let's see, Four of Pentacles to the Six of Cups to the King of Cups. Four of Pentacles comes in and says that you are... You are feeling really secure. You're feeling really secure about going forward and reuniting and reconciling with this Queen of Pentacles that has been haunting your readings forever. You feel secure. And the King of Cups reiterates that. The King of Cups comes in and says you feel emotionally, emotionally stable. You have emotional security. You know very, very well where you are, where you're going, and how you're going to get there. <clears throat> Did we already talk about this? Yeah, we already talked about that one. So, to reiterate, my friends, we're going to go over this one more time. If this reading's getting a little bit long for you, that's your reading. You can cut out now. I'm going to go over these cards one more time for Libra just to make sure that we have some, some absolute uh, clarity about what this reading is, is doing here. Um, I think the High Priestess, the Four of Cups, Justice, Ace of Pentacles. Where did we leave off right here? Let's see. Queen of Wands. Well, we'll just stick it all right here in one big pile and read it like a story. Actually, let's do that. That would be actually kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's see. The Queen of Pentacles to the High Priestess to the Four of Cups. Okay. We'll do this. And then what comes next is this. And then this. 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 This, 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 and this. All right, let's read this. Isn't this cool? Let's check this out. So, <clears throat> feeling emotionally fulfilled with what it is you are currently engaging in. And I think this is just like an overall, the way that you're feeling about your life right now, okay? You're feeling really good about yourself about what you're engaging in, what you're doing with yourself in regards to control, authority, establishment, and structure in your life. You feel strong, you feel successful, and you feel excited about your future. Despite all of that good stuff, <clears throat> you have a little bit of internal struggle. You have a little bit of internal struggle in regards to conflict. You have some internal conflict going on with you right now. Right. You have internal conflict that's happening with you right now, but that's all about to come to an end. It's all about to come to an end because you are in the hangman energy making a decision right now about a relationship in your life that you're beginning to see things clearly now. You're beginning to see things clearly in regards to this relationship. Seven of Cups comes in and says you've had choices and options. You've had an imbalance in your life or you have been juggling somebody in your life. Eight of Cups says that's all about to stop now. The feelings of disappointment, despair, bereavement, it's all about to stop because you're walking away from the internal conflict and you're headed towards the energy of the King of Pentacles, 
you're headed towards the energy of the king of pentacles which is which is power stability control in your life this <clears throat> makes you feel victorious you having you you have progress now you feel victorious and successful and you have self confidence in the situation oh man did i screw this all up I did, I did, I did. Hold on. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Lost my place, but that's okay. Because you're feeling victorious. You're making some progress, right? There's a sense of self-sufficiency, a sense of gratitude, a culmination to the situation because you've sat down with your high priestess. You've sat down with your high priestess. You have, have employed your intuition. You've searched your soul and you know that you know that you know because you have contemplated and reevaluated the entire situation. Justice is about to be applied. Justice is being applied. Justice is being applied because you've learned what you needed to learn here, right? And you will be justified, rewarded with the Ace of Pentacles. Rewarded with the Ace of Wands. Rewarded with the Ace of Swords right? You're being, being given the opportunity to manifest a brand new prosperous opportunity. Something that is, is inspiring and passionate that you have absolute mental clarity about. Absolute mental clarity and determination. The world card comes in and says, now that you have learned these lessons, now and only now will you be released to start a new cycle in your life. This new cycle in your life is going to lead you towards this Queen of Pentacles. This, this, this person that you see as success, this person that you see as reward, this person who you have a ton of respect for, right? They're independent. They can bring home the bacon and fry it up in the pan. They represent home and hearth and the breadbasket of life for you. You see this person as somebody that you can have the Ten of Cups with. You see them as, as harmony, marriage, home, values alignment, happiness, everything that is good and right with the world. You see that you can have it with this Queen of Pentacles. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. You see profit and reward for the investment that you're about to make. And again, I want to just point out that I feel somehow that this has had a start in the past, but has never had an opportunity to grow. Two of Wands says that you're excited about your future. You're excited about your future. You're choosing the path that leads you to this Queen of Pentacles. Princess of Wands, exuberant, excitement about building a future, about building the, 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 the foundation by which you can now create a life with this Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords comes in and says that there's an absolute end to a third party situation that has been very burdensome for you. You're about to break loose and tell somebody. You're about to break loose and tell somebody that you want to give and receive and share your life with them. That they are the foundation by which you want to build your future. 
I did. I lost my place, but I'm 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 reading on the fly here. Okay. Four of Pentacles says you feel a little bit. Um, you you feel you feel a sense of security. Okay. You feel a a, a sense of security in regards to reuniting and reconciling with somebody. The King of Cups comes in and says you have emotional balance and control and you are ready to be the King of Love to this Queen of Pentacles. You have been trying for a minute to break out of some kind of a toxic relationship. And, and you've succeeded because the Seven of Swords also means that you're breaking free of mental challenges. There's going to be absolute swift change in action taken in the situation. Because while you were wrapped up in the Nine of Swords, all caught up in your head really, really hard about this decision-making process, you made a judgment. You made a decision. You made a decision to deal with your blocked emotions and call a truce to your internal conflict. Call a truce to your internal conflict and begin to prepare to plan for your future with this person that you love, with this Queen of Pentacles. Princess of Cups is about a message of... of um, the hell is the princess of cups out uh, a message about um jesus christ i have totally lost my train of thought the princess of cups is a messenger about creative new beginnings in your life <laughs> wow about creative new beginnings you're ready to plan your future with with new beginnings new feels new love new 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 you're letting go of the pain from the past. You're releasing yourself from a toxic relationship. And you are about to go forward and find this, this Queen of Pentacles. You're about to go forward. You're about to go forward. You feel secure about reuniting and reconciling. Ah, oh, see? Reuniting and reconciling. I told you back here with this Seven of Pentacles that I felt like there was um, a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles that never had the chance to get off the ground. It never had a chance to grow, right? And there it is, the Six of Cups, about reunion and reconciliation and feeling secure about it. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Well, this is your reading, Libra. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it helps somehow, some way. If you'd like a personal reading from me, 40 bucks will hook you up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste, my friends.